Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 Cedar Creek Champagne 38 EKS 5th wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and the outside of this new quad slide rear kitchen 5th wheel. Then we're going to close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the all new 2022 Cedar Creek Champagne 38 EKS fifth wall here. We're going to spin through the inside here and then we will run back out and check out the outside and then we're going to close it all up for you. So we're going to start back here in the rear of the coach. This is again a rear kitchen as you've seen on the floor plan there. So we have all kinds of new changes. First off, new floor plan so this is the big factor of it but then also we have new wood colors floor colors uh, some different things like that that they have changed up on the champagne lineup here so down below you have four full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers there's some storage underneath of that sink and a little flip down like sponge holder tray whatever you want to call it there you have electric outlet and usb charger ports on the counter there the window in the back does open, overlooking the back side of the RV there. You have a double bowl stainless sink, high-rise sprayer faucet, huge cabinets up above, lots of cabinet space there. They kind of do that two-tone cabinet setup there. You can see up top, we have a large turbo exhaust fan. You can also see the returns for the Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning System much quieter compared to the traditional drop-in AC. Again, quite a bit more cabinet space overhead here. They have the big Greystone oven now. Instead of the Insignia, they switched over to Greystone. So you still have basically the big oven down below. You have the four burner stove top, light up knobs, light inside the oven as well. More full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers. You have a little pull out uh, drawer here for like canned goods and stuff. Some more drawer space and you have the little wine cooler as well. Then up top you have the glass front little pantry kind of area here and those are three pull out drawers built into that also. Such a beautiful coach. Currently using the LG refrigerator freezer here with the built-in ice maker. You'll see the ice maker on off valve outside underneath when we get outside. But then you do have some uh, cabinet space up above there too. Dinette wise, you have the dinette that's built into the wall, basically. There is a leaf extension. It's currently laying on the floor down there. Uh, but there is a leaf extension that you can put in and give you room for two more chairs. There's two folding chairs that are currently under the bed up there. Um, but there are two extra folding chairs for guests. But basically, you have two traditional chairs. Built in, you'll see when we get outside as well, built in and part of why they use this type of dinette is there's an outside TV built into that section also. Nice big windows overlooking your campsite area here. And these windows do open and they're also dual pane windows, uh, which is a nice upgrade compared to a traditional single glass RV window. Um, when you're into this, champagne style camper they are expecting to be more of that extended stay customer possibly and they just want to put in the better windows now here you can see a few things that the rv can have come with it the one on the left is the tire pressure monitoring system and then these other three boxes here are cameras for the optional four camera prep system you'll see that when we get outside as well USB charger ports also there. Electric outlet between the windows there. This unit does have a theater seat here on the side. 
And basically it's a power theater seat, has some storage in it, USB charger ports and the power button switches there. So you can kick back and recline right there, or you can kick back in the recliner that I'm leaning against here. And you'll see that when I spin around, but you're basically looking straight at your fireplace and TV area right there. Bigger TV than what the picture shows, the little video that they put in here, the construction video. Uh, for some reason, I couldn't figure out how to make it the right size of the TV. It's in a small version, <laughs> um, but uh, it is a really nice TV. Now, you're currently using the Insignia Fire TV, so it does have uh, the little uh, Netflix and Hulu app and some of that uh, Amazon Prime type app stuff built into it. Down below you have your electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy space heater. Just above that little shelf space. Then above that is your stereo, which controls your indoor outdoor speakers. Also a DVD player. And then you have obviously the white shelf space above. Sofa over here is basically a sleeper sofa. This will flip out and give you room for two kids or adults to sleep on. Spinning back around here, you can see the other theater seat I was leaning on there. And basically same setup as the one we just talked about. So you got storage in the middle, cup holders, power uh, reclining, and has USB charger ports built in. All of those windows, basically all these windows downstairs do open and again are the dual pane window style. Now down on the side here, we have our propane leak detector. And then we also have our central vac and dustpan vac down here built into that lower step. It does come with the vac hose, or you can sweep everything right into that foot vac there. Electric box with your breakers and fuses right here at the step area as well. We have our solar charge controller here turbo exhaust fan control, ceiling fan light switch here, one of the temperature sensors for air conditioner control. And then we do have the Firefly system. Super cool system here. Um, we'll get into that when we come back in and close things up, but uh, that is a really nice system. Step back here a little bit so you can see this a little better. Basically, you have your steps going up into your hallway area here. Do you have the little LED accent lighting there? You have a little uh, sit down area there to put your shoes on if you want. Little coat hooks up top there, smoke detector. Window here does open. Also on the windows, basically downstairs area and here in the hallway, they use the day and night roller blinds. But when you get into the bedroom area, the little windows next to the bed are just nightshades. The one on the windshield is day and night both. So they kind of switch it up a little bit depending on where the window's located. Pop up a few pictures here of this bathroom. You have a very large bathroom. Step in shower, foot flush toilet, You have eight drawers plus some cabinet space on each side. Dual vanities, huge backlit mirror here. Another turbo exhaust fan up top here. Then you can obviously see you know, your little hand towel holders, uh, robe holders and stuff, toilet uh, paper holders, all that type of stuff in here. And we'll step on in here, kind of spin around. Skylight up above. And you do have the sliding pocket door for the uh, bathroom privacy door. In the hallway here, you can also see more closet space. Pretty cool little setup. That is all part of the large slide. Into the bedroom area here. Plenty of drawer space down below here. T 
TV located over there all at your desk area. Kind of start up here. We have a couple AC vents and you can see the returns again for that Whisper Quiet AC. Windshield overlooking the front of your RV. A little dark outside, so you can't see a whole lot, unfortunately. But hopefully you'll have a good view once you buy it. Three dash drawers there. And they have room for washer dryer. Now they set this up so you could do a combo washer dryer right here. You could possibly do a stack if you wanted to really truly do that and have it kind of exposed uh, for the dryer up top or um, you know maybe you want to make your own little cabinet area here however you want to do it but really they set it up for a combo washer dryer to kind of be in that little compartment right there uh, but this is basically the same front end that they use with the normal large closet and stuff right here where they do stack washer dryers in they just did not do that to this one. The electric optional wall heater right here. Camper King bed. Window on each side of the bed does open. Have the little uh, nighttime reading lights there. They turn blue if you want them to be blue for kind of a night light. Um, you do have a uh, little shelf space above those windows there. But you kind of see USB ports down there. Sliding door for your bedroom privacy door. All right, guys, we are going to head back outside. I want to show you around the outside of the RV. Then we're going to come back in and close this thing up. I want to show you what it looks like closed. So we will be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we are now back on the outside of the new 2022 Cedar Creek Champagne 38 EKS fifth wall here. We're going to start here on the door side of the RV and kind of spin our way around. So first things up, this is the standard exterior that you're seeing in the video. They do offer a couple exterior paint jobs as well that you could order if that interests you. Talk with your sales guy about it. He'll be glad to go over it with you. Um, so first thing we have our power awning with an LED light strip built in does have adjustable arms for tilting and water runoff also has the manual override in the front arm piece here in case of an electronic failure this customer ordered his with the slide out awning covers so you do have an awning that comes out with the room and goes in with the room just by pushing the buttons on the room and that awning basically allows the room to be shaded. It helps keep leaves, twigs, debris, um, you know, kind of pushes away a lot of the water and stuff. But obviously water, you know, wind blowing it sideways in a heavy storm still could get up there, but it does repel a lot of water. Now this customer also chose to order his with the four camera prep system. Um, and basically it has a camera on each side, a camera above the entry door, and a camera on the back of the unit. Uh, so that's a pretty cool little setup by Furion that they're doing. Um, we'll kind of go into a little more detail when we get inside and show you that. They have two outdoor speakers, one right here, and then there's another one back here on the other side of this slide here. Now behind this front door, is your two 30 pound propane tanks and just down below is a gas line hookup where you could hook up a portable grill if you wanted to or hook up the grill that comes with this model there is the little pet friendly leash latch right here as well and then you can also see down below here our front two hydraulic jacks, which is part of the six point automatic leveling jack system on the RV. There's two jacks in the front, two just in front of the axles back there, and two behind the axles. 
And again, it is the hydraulic version, which is a little bit stronger, faster, and more reliable than the less expensive electric version. You can obviously see this door here going into the large pass-through compartment is a swing door. A little bit thicker, heavier insulated baggage door compared to some brands on the market. And also you have a huge pass-through storage compartment area here. You can also see some of that aluminum tube framing there on the uh, bath deck area right here. This is an aluminum tube framed wall floor and roof unit. They're not using wood studs like a lot of brands do to save money. Back in here, you have your central vac, an electric outlet and a cable outlet here. Obviously you can see the light glaring at us there. And then that black rectangle square, you can remove that and back in behind there, some of the stuff for that Furion, or sorry, Firefly uh, system. And there's a little instruction thing there kind of telling you what some of that stuff is also. Now here we have a little mini outdoor kitchen, I guess you'd say. Uh, there is a griddle uh, that would go right here. I did not get that out, but it does go on this little platform that's on a swing arm. And then you have your little electric mini fridge back here. Outside cold water spray port here as well. So in case you, you know, make a mess, you can kind of hose down some stuff here. And again, another outside electric outlet. You have the traditional porch light above your entry door there, and also that fourth camera up there as well. Large folding entry handle to help you get in and out of the RV. Next to that entry handle is also the model number of the RV. So if you're out shopping at a dealer's lot, that's usually where you'll locate that model number to let the sales guy know what you liked. They also do a little bit of an upgraded entry door lock on the Champagne model, so you have that push button touchpad as well. Down below here, you can see the More Ride step above step with the shock assist on it. So, this is real easy to flip up. A child can do this. Uh, you kind of see it holding itself up there in the picture. And then it flips back into the doorway out of your way. The step comes down, touches the ground, has adjustable feet for tilting, uh, you know, kind of depending on how unlevel your terrain might be. And then you also have a 500 pound rating, which is a little bit heavier duty than the traditional 300 pound rated hover steps. Again, up top there, you can see the slide out awning cover on the big room here. The unit has the frameless style windows on the outer walls. This unit also comes standard with dual pane windows. When you get up into that champagne level of unit, they are expecting you to be more of an extended stay customer, possibly a full-time type of customer. So they do the thermal pane standard. You can see dual axle unit here. The unit has four wheel electric drum brakes. It's currently riding on the Cooper tires um, this is kind of changing up in the RV world right now because of availability of parts. So you could possibly wind up with Coopers. Uh, I've seen some roll in with Westlakes. I've seen some stuff roll in with Goodyear tires. It's kind of all over the place right now, unfortunately. Um, but Cooper tires, good tire. And that is what they've been kind of going with for the moment. The unit also has the TST tire pressure monitoring system on those rims there and built into your valve stems and stuff. And it comes with a screen that goes in the truck. You've seen that when we were inside. Um, so it will shoot a signal and let you know what's going on. Then you have the Dexter never adjust brakes as well. Now back here, we have a little TV set up back here. It's on again, a swing arm. So you could bring that out, watch some TV outside. A little bit of a tight fit in the garage here, so sorry it's a little hard to see, but um, down below in, you kind of see pop up in that picture there, there is the ice maker drain and on off valve down there. Also the spare tire located underneath of there, that is on a uh, little cable drop down feature there, so you just crank it down. Now on the champagne version, you get a little bit fancier fiberglass capped rear end instead of a flat back fiberglass. So a little different look 
to the Champagne rear end compared to the traditional Cedar Creek. Now down below you have the little hitch down below which is rated for 300 pounds. It is not a towing hitch. It is just strictly to put like a bike rack or something on. You have the ladder that comes down nice and low, easy to step up onto and climb up on the roof. Now ladders on RVs are rated for 250 pounds. So try not to exceed that obviously, because it could break. Um, when you are up on the roof, you can kind of see that picture popping up there. It is a full walk on roof, so you can get up there, walk around, make sure there's nothing sharp in your shoes. Uh, but up top there, you can see, you know, dual air conditioners. They have an option for a third, um, you know, solar panel option for more roof uh, vents up here, plumbing stack vents, attic vents, all that type of stuff up here. And you do have to maintain seals on this type of stuff, guys. Very important to get up here and check your roof from time to time. Also, again, you can see up top there in the middle below that running light, it is an observation camera on the back of the unit that's part of that optional four camera system. Got a little storage compartment door right here. Down below here you can see one of your tank dumps. Because of the distance between the rear kitchen and the bathroom all the way up front, there is two separate dumps so that things dump and flow properly. Stove exhaust out on this side here. Now, just down below here, you can kind of see your spare tire underneath of there. You also have your fresh water tank drain just in front of this rear jack here. Now just in front of the slide here, we have our furnace exhaust out area. We have our Truma on-demand water heater right here. Down below, you have your second dump and just behind the stabilizer jack here, you have the dump hose holder. Then up front, just behind the front jack there is your low point hot and cold water drains. Detachable power cord here, it's probably 25 or 30 feet long roughly, and that is a 50 amp electric service cord. Another swing door here. Up top here you have your powered power cord reel. Then you have your little docking station area here your galley bath water tank and your uh, black tank located right here to pull everything. Then you have a battery disconnect back there, hot and cold outside utility shower, the on offs for the three electric, I'm sorry, on offs for the three hydraulic slides, the electric slide separate button, but you've got your, you know, city water slash fresh water fill-ups here, black tank flush, all kinds of different stuff located right here for your cable, satellite inlets, auxiliary inlets, all that type of stuff. Now back in behind this front door here, you have battery trays. And you can see in the picture popping up there, this unit has two batteries with it. Those come from Couch's RV Nation, um, but you could put two additional batteries in it as well if you wanted to. And then up top here, we have our auto level jack controls right here. So you can auto level things or manually control the jacks as well. Now you can see above that reflector there, there's some stickers right there. We're gonna pop up these stickers for you guys. The first one here is the main data sticker. Basically that is telling you the production date, the VIN number, the axle sizes, but most importantly, it's telling you that gross vehicle weight of the RV. Do not exceed that weight. That's your hitch weight, axle weight, everything combined. You don't want to exceed that. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight. 
That's basically telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line. Again, hitch weight, axle weight, everything combined. And next is going to be your cargo carrying capacity sticker. Basically just telling you how much gear you can load into your RV. Don't exceed that. And last but not least is your tire sticker. Basically just kind of telling you what your tire size is supposed to be, but most importantly telling you the tire pressure. Don't let the tire pressure drop too low, guys. If you do, you could blow out your tire fairly easy. Also, make sure to check your lug nut torque from time to time, very important to do. Up front here, you can see beautiful front end here. With it being dark outside right now, you can kind of see how those lights light up the front there. So you have three LED light strips, obviously that tented windshield there, nice fiberglass front cap. They're currently using the Rhino pen box. Um, now, when you order it from the RV manufacturer, this is the standard box, but they do offer a trail air air, bar, uh, air ride suspension box with an airbag and shock. Some people like those. Some people would rather have more ride. Some customers want to put on a Reese Goose box for a ball type of hitch. So if you do some sort of aftermarket hitch and don't go with one of the two the factory offers, you have to match it up to the Rhino box bolt pattern. Down below here, you have your generator prep. They prep it for an LP generator as an option if you wanna do that. Um, right now, there's a big shortage of generators in the RV world, and unfortunately, the factories are having a hard time getting them. So depending on how you order the RV, you may or may not be able to get the generator at the time of order, or at the time of build, I guess I should say. Um, back in behind there, there's a little black panel that will pop open and behind there is like your hydraulic pump for your slides, your inverter for your refrigerator system and all that type of stuff. And you can also see some of the wiring back there for that generator prep in the changeover box also. All right, guys, we are going to head back inside. I want to close this thing up and show you what it looks like closed. So we will be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now back inside the new 2022 Cedar Creek Champagne 38 EKS fifth wheel here. And I wanna show you what it looks like closed. So first thing we gotta do is come to our Firefly controls here. This is basically the brain box for your RV right here. So right now we are on the home page. The home page basically tells us all of our tank readings. And these are an upgraded sensor on these tanks. They're not the old style probes that you have to worry about like toilet tissue getting stuck on your probes reading full even though you know you just emptied it. Um, so a little bit more accurate sensors for your tanks. We have water pump switch, 12 volt tank heater pads, the unit was ordered generator prepped, so you do have your gen start stop, hour meter, all that stuff right here where you can control stuff like that. Um, you can go into a little more detail on that with your service techs and stuff. When you do put in your generator, they can kind of go over that type of stuff with you. But uh, battery meter here, one of our ACs is being displayed here on our homepage. And we have a master light switch here, which is kind of cool. Um, you can see here with the touch of one button, I basically shut off everything except for the microwave light, which is 110, and the TV that's kind of throwing out some light too. Uh, but here we just hit the button, bring it all right back on. It's kind of cool to have this little master button here. And next you can roll down to your lights and control a bunch of lights individually. And then there's a few switches throughout the RV as well. HVAC system here. So we have our main control for the main air conditioner and the furnace. Now you can also opt in for heat pump. You can also opt in for a third AC if you want, but this customer chose not to do either of those. Then we go here to our slide controls. We have our hydraulic slide button, our electric slide button, and then we have our awning in and out button here for the awning. I don't know why, but they put that under the slide controls and they always have for some reason. Here we have some specs on the setups that you can go in and kind of change screen brightness, uh, Fahrenheit, Celsius, and a few different things that you can do in there. 
So what we came here for was our slides. So I'm going to set the camera down up in the bedroom area for you real quick and show you what that looks like. And then we'll stop that, come back down and show you the downstairs. So we'll be right back upstairs. Okay, so you can see here now what's kind of happening. We're gonna bring in this bed slide. Now we're just doing the bed slide as part of the hydraulic system slides. The hallway slash dresser slide is part of the electric system. So that, that'll be separate. Okay, so now you can see here kind of what that looks like. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so now here you can kind of see what this looks like with the bed slide actually closed up and the hallway slide is currently open. So with the hallway slide open, you can come up in here and get through your bedroom area. However, when the hallway slide is closed, you cannot come up here. So you do have to be able to get that slide out. That's very important to make sure you have room to at least open that slide to get up here. And basically this hallway slide slides underneath of the bed area. They built that bed frame up just a little bit so this could fit underneath of it. Now we're gonna bring these downstairs slide the rest of the way in here real quick. So you can kind of see what happens here. So next one moving. We're letting off the button here for a second. And you can kind of see here when we continue on in, that slide slides up over the subfloor. And it's gonna come in and go just underneath of your theater seat there. When you bring that slide in, it's very important to make sure that the table leaf extension is not in there. So I can kind of squeeze through here. It is a tight fit, uh, but you can kind of squeeze back into this section. And if you needed to climb over to get to your kitchen or your refrigerator or something, you could do so but it would be a lot easier just to, to run the slides out. If you don't have room to put all the slides out, you could uh, shut off the other two hydraulic slides, just bump out your kitchen slides some and be able to load it if you're you know, stopping at a grocery store or something like that. But you can kind of squeeze back in there I'm going to run these back out. Now the bedroom slide is going to go first and then the downstairs slides. Um, hydraulic slide fluid usually goes the path of least resistance. And normally that's the bed and then the other small slide. And then the big heavy slides are usually last to move. So you can kind of see that one slide there creeping out some as the bed slide goes out as well. And again, if you don't want it to do that, you can shut them on and off individually. Again, guys, don't forget to check out the people at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. We'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. Also, we are going to close up this electric slide here. And on the electric slide, they are currently using the Lippert Slim Rack slide. Uh, we're gonna set this camera back down here again for you real quick and kind of show you what this looks like. Now, on this thing here, you'll see when this goes in and out, you pretty much can't get to your bedroom. So you hit the button to retract it. Sounds completely different than the uh, hydraulic slides, again, because it's an electric motor slide. But it comes straight in and straight out. So you can see there, it is not 
squeezing through there. And when you're ready to take it back out, kind of the same setup here, you're just gonna hit the button. All right, guys, thank you again for taking the time to watch my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. If there, again, is anything they can do for you at Couches RV Nation, be sure to give them a call, check them out. Thanks again, guys.